All right, so you may have clicked into this video just because of the title. And I'll admit, it's a strange title, but it works for this video. So obviously, I titled the video, Fortnite Vaulted the Victory Royale. So I'm sure most of you have noticed this, especially in the solo game mode. But season eight is by far one of the sweatiest starts to a season we've ever had. Now there's a reason and an explanation for that, but I just wanted to show you some video evidence first and then we'll talk about it. So I'm not the best player, I will admit that. I'm fairly decent, I'm moderately skilled, but I'm by no means the best player ever. Let me just back up my talk here with my stats. So if I go to my profile, I have 658 solo wins. 658 solos. That's a lot of wins for a solo player. My kill to death ratio is also fairly high. I can't show it on here because you have to go to stat tracker to find it but I normally look up people that eliminate me and rarely does someone have a higher KD ratio than me in Fortnite. So I've got a lot of solo wins and a high KD ratio. So like I said, I'm moderately skilled at the game, but the start of season eight has been just absolutely brutal. And not for just me in particular, I had my issues so far this season. And again, we'll talk about it in just a second, but I tweeted out a frustration tweet. I said something like, wow, this is the sweatiest season so far. I'm getting absolutely bamboozled every solo match by someone that's way above my league and shouldn't be in public solos anyway. And all the responses I got on Twitter were just positive. They were agreeing with me. They had the same experiences. So it's not my imagination, clearly. Something happened to make the lobbies all sweaty. And like I said, there's an explanation for it. But let me just show you some video footage first. So I just went on a solo match just to prove my point. Okay, so let's break down this gameplay. Spoiler alert, I do not win, I lose. But it's still a perfect example for this video. So in this match, I landed at Sludgy Swamp. No longer Slurpy Swamp, but Sludgy. And I landed at the Slurp Truck. I got my full shield right away. So I thought I was uncontested here. And then I saw footsteps right behind me. So I was like, ah, it's probably just a bot. I'll just loot up a little bit here. And then he tries to shoot me through the wall. So I build up a bit just to test. And he doesn't look to be the best. I mean, yes, he can outbuild me there. He ramps above me. He's got the high ground, but he doesn't really know what to do with it. So I play strategic every time I play. I know I don't have a shotgun, but somehow he got behind me here and he almost takes me out. He did quite a bit of damage. And then he basically boxed himself up below me. So then I use my SMG and I just put as many rounds as I can into him. And luckily I won the gunfight. So that first encounter, that was pretty typical. I mean, yes, this guy tried to wall rush me above get the high ground and then flanked me and got a good drop on me but i wouldn't consider that a pro like player that's not what i'm talking about okay so we fast forward a little bit i don't see anyone else until there's about 32 people left so i launched myself in the sky i see a car so i just randomly start shooting at it little did i know this would draw the attention of one of the most bloodthirsty enemies in the game i mean i was so far away from this guy and he was just driving aimlessly in a car. He's still driving aimlessly in a car. I shoot the car repeatedly, trying to blow it up. He gets out, and instead of just continuing on his way, he backtracks towards me. So he launches in the sky, he's coming to get me. He doesn't want me to get away. Boom, I hit a 45 headshot. Boom, two headshots in a row, and he is roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp. That guy was a savage player that had no business pushing backwards towards me. I didn't even try to eliminate him. Like I said, I was trying to blow up his car because he was so far away. So once I saw that type of aggression in this lobby, I knew I had the perfect example here. So for the next few minutes, I do nothing but loot up. I've seen some TTVs in the kill feed. I've seen some Twitch players, some TikTok players. All these guys were in the kill feed. So I knew this was gonna be a sweaty end game. So I just decided to loot up as best as I could. So I got myself into a top five situation and this youtuber just got an elimination right in front of me so i creep walk right next to him i know he's a youtuber i saw it in the kill feed i'm always looking always situationally aware so i'm creeping up on him i've got my silenced ar i've got a purple charge and a rapid fire and unfortunately this guy bum rushes someone else i'm still noob walking over here and then this guy decides to land on me i have an awkward angle couldn't get any shots down and look at this guy he just terrorizes me. He is an editing machine, keeps trying to box me in. I'm trying to run for my life, trying to outbuild him, even though I can't build for squat. And this guy just takes my wall instantly and then gets a cheeky shot right here. Look at this, boom, I trade shots with him, but then I'm dead instantly. And this is the Y tier. 
Now, I watched the rest of this because I wanted to see how good these players really were. And look at this. I mean, he just annihilates that guy. But watch these edits he does. So, nice shot right there. He's just editing like an absolute beast. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's a great player, I can tell. Look at these shots he can get. I mean, he missed a few right there. But just how smooth and effortlessly he does this, this is 100% an arena player that pretty much should not be in any of my games because I am nowhere near this caliber. I mean, look how well he hits his shots. He edits like a beast. He's hitting everything. I mean, he is dismantling this guy. And this guy's not bad either, the guy he's fighting. I mean, he's contending with the builds. He's actually outbuilding this YouTuber, but the YouTuber is just hitting every single shot that he makes. Look at this, he just goes right through his wall, takes the wall, climbs up. I mean, he is unstoppable. Then I thought he was gonna die to fall damage and he yeets himself out of that battle. So that right there was one of the most intense battles I've seen in this entire matchup. So this YouTuber heals as best as he can, and now he pushes this other guy. He tries to take the wall there, he failed, so he's gonna try to take this wall. He failed again, so he's gonna go just straight through with his SMG, and boom! One shot, he's dead. Now we're in a 1v1 situation, he has the Chug Splash Cannon, but he still has to contend with the guy that he was originally fighting here. But look how he builds here, I mean look at these edits, look at these edits, there's no way. He effortlessly turns and just sprays him. I mean, this guy is calibers better than me. So he's trying to use his zero ping to his advantage, took the wall, blasts him in the face, re-edits, re-edits again, loses the wall, takes the wall back, and then he gets pumped in the face and loses the match. Are you kidding me? And this looks like a, what is that, Spanish? I'm not sure what language that is, but it's not an American player. So I don't know if this guy was on high ping, but he is just dancing all over him. But the YouTuber died and lost. And I looked him up and he is a very good player, the YouTuber that is. So like I said, these are the sweaty people that I run into and that everyone is running into. It's just absolutely crazy how far above in the skill gap some of these guys are compared to the us regular people. So you may be asking, well, what is the explanation for this? Why are there such great players in solos, duos, and squads right now? And let me tell you why. It's because of Fortnite Competitive Season 8. So let me just read you this from the blog. Season 8 Arena Preseason. We'll be continuing the Arena Preseason in Season 8. We'll be monitoring new items and features and reevaluating already existing items that may come back into the competitive loot pool. Now this is the important part, listen very carefully. Arena hype will carry over from season seven and will reset on September 28th. So that's all you need to know right there. The season eight arena does not begin until September 28th. So that means there's no point in playing arena right now because it's just gonna reset all your points in two weeks. Well, as of this video, basically one week now, but at the start of the season, it was two weeks. So does that make sense to everyone? Does that make sense why all these really, really skilled players are in pubs right now? It's because they're not in arena due to the season seven arena hype carrying over. So again, right now there's no reason for any really skilled arena player to be in arena because anything they do is gonna get reset on September 28th. But once September 28th hits, that's when everything resets and all these good players are going to flock right back over to Arena and start grinding on the competitive hype. So that's the explanation. That's why the start of Season 8 is so sweaty because nobody that should be playing Arena is playing Arena. They're all in pubs. They're all in solos, duos, squads. Even in Team Rumble. I went to Team Rumble and I had some guy quadruple ramp rushing me. I was like, what in the hey better better is going on here? So if you've gotten frustrated with Season 8 already, or maybe even stopped playing, September 28th is the day you need to come back and return. Because like I said, all the good players will be flocking to Arena to build up their hype levels, because that's when it resets. But as of right now, there's no point. Why would you grind in Arena when it's just going to reset in a few days anyway? So they're just getting their kicks and their laughs in pubs. They're dominating people like me, the moderately skilled crowd like me, and it's just frustrating for the average Joe. So if you've been getting your butt kicked, especially in solos, now you have an explanation why. It's just these sweaty, sweaty two by fours camped through the kitchen door, showcasing their everlasting talent in pubs instead of arena. But rest assured, September 28th 
is when hopefully all of that changes. You should notice way, way easier lobbies, especially in solos, come September 28th. So we're almost there. Just wait a few more days and that sweet, sweet Victory Royale will be unvaulted once again and the competitive tryhards will go back to Arena. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabertongue.